Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how you can embed a form and report in a web page and handle the page reloads. In this application, I have an input form and output report. If I type a name for this input, I'm going to see this name and the output report because this report is based out of this form. Now I want to embed input form as well as the output report in the same page and when you submit the input, I want to reload the output form which is placed at the bottom. Step 1, we need to embed the input form and the output report in a web page. For that, we need to get the embed code. We'll go to this input form. We'll go to settings, publish, click publish, take the embed URL. If you want to do some customization like background color, border color, you can do that right here. Now I have a bootstrap based HTML template here. I'm going to include the copied iframe to this one. And I will also use a class. I don't need height and width for now. Let me take it out. Now we will embed the report. We'll go to the report, hit publish, switch to embed URL. If you want to do some customization, you do that. Copy the embed code, paste it here. All right, I'm going to load this file in the browser and see what it looks like. So we have the input form up top and we have the output report right here. So if I enter another name and hit submit, I get the message that I added successfully, but I do not see that name, new name, right here under output report. To get the latest data, I'll have to manually right click on this uh, iframe, hit reload iframe. Now I'll say this new name. As soon as we hit submit, we want to reload this output report. For that, we can make use of the open URL tag in Zoho Creator Delio Scripting. To do so, we go to input form, we'll go to the workflow on add on success. We are going to use open URL task. Open URL means it's going to open a new URL wherever you ask it to. So for example, if I do open URL arbrc.com, we also have window types. When you load this website, you can load in same window that you are currently viewing or you can open in a new window or parent window. So we'll try everything. We'll first load arbrc.com same window. We go here, we'll type another name, hit submit. As soon as we hit submit in the same window, I get this arbrc.com. That's what same window means. Now, if you take parent window and refresh our page, it's going to open the ARBRC site in the parent window. But we want to open this output report in this iframe. So that's when the option iframe comes in handy. So we go to iframe and then it asks us to give the iframe name. We'll give the out iframe name as output. Let's see what happens if we do this. Hit submit. It's going to open arbrc.com in a pop-up. This is because the iframe with the name output does not exist. We are going to apply a name attribute to this output report iframe. We go to our HTML file. In the reports iframe, we'll add a new name attribute with the value output. Hit submit. Now I should see arbrc.com right here in this output frame. You see, our actual requirement is to reload this output report. We go to the uh, iframe src. This is the uh, URL we want to load. This means we are reloading it. So we take this SRC, we open the reports URL in the output iframe. Hit submit. It's going to refresh output report. If I type something else, submit, the output report refreshes automatically when you hit submit. Key things to remember, you embed two iframes in the same page after publishing the form as well as report. You go to the on success section, on add on success section, and use the open URL in iframe. And finally, the name attribute for the report's iframe so it can be reloaded. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them on the comments. We'll respond as soon as possible. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.